How adventurous are you feeling? If you're in the UK and you've got any combination of solar, battery and EV, I'm going to show you an energy tariff that's been around for a while, but in a way you've not seen before. And if you're not in the UK, this kind of tariff could be coming your way very soon. The tariff is Agile Octopus, and I think you're going to like it. Hi, I'm Gary, and welcome back to my channel, Gary Does Solar. This is the second video in a series on smart energy tariffs. You can catch the first video in this series here, which was all about Octopus Flux. There's a link to it in the description. Now, whether you're financially or environmentally motivated to get solar, choosing the right energy tariff for your installation is almost as important as choosing the solar and battery equipment. And this is because of the bigger picture when you look at energy for your country as a whole and the challenges of managing that. Looking at the typical daily electricity demand for a country, demand is much greater during the day, and particularly in the evening, than it is during the night. The more this demand curve can be flattened, the more it would make the management of electricity supply easier, less expensive, and a lot cleaner. And this is where smart energy tariffs come into play. Many people today are on a tariff that charges a fixed price per kilowatt hour, no matter what time of day you use energy. This kind of tariff is easiest to administer by the energy provider and easiest for the consumer to manage financially, but it does nothing to help flatten the demand curve. One tariff that does help is the Economy 7 style tariff that has been around since the 1970s. This kind of tariff provides seven hours of cheaper electricity during the night, but the trade-off is that the rest of the time the rate is higher than the standard rate. With the advent of smart meters and improved management and billing infrastructure, energy companies have been able to launch more innovative tariffs over the last few years. Here is one such tariff from Octopus Energy, called Octopus Go. It's designed for customers with electric vehicles and is a variation on the Economy 7 tariff. The off-peak period is shorter than Economy 7, at 4 hours instead of 7, but the rate is lower. And for the remainder of the time, the rate is just under halfway between Economy 7 and the standard rate. Most recently, Octopus Energy introduced another smart tariff called Octopus Flux, this time for those with solar and battery installations. I covered this tariff in detail in my previous video, but you can see that it provides both an off-peak period and a peak period. Looking at this, you might think the tariff is not quite as attractive as Octopus Go, until you realise that Octopus Flux also comes with a lucrative export tariff as well, with the highest export rates I've seen in the UK. This brings us nicely on to today's video topic then, another smart tariff that Octopus Energy provides, called Agile Octopus. Here's what the daily tariff profile looks like. Hang on, it's just changed. And it changed again. Actually, it keeps on changing. What's going on? Agile Octopus is a tariff unlike anything else on the market today. Octopus Energy describes it as laying the blueprint for a greener, smarter energy system. And I have to say, I think they're right. They go on to say, our plan with a tariff like Agile is to make using energy cheaper when it's greener and more expensive when it's dirty, in the hopes of helping people change their energy use accordingly, reducing the need for fossil fuels and making the most of renewable energy at times when the wind is blowing and the sun is shining. And if we look at a typical daily price profile for Agile again and layer in the standard tariff price, you can see that for a large proportion of the day, Agile is much, much cheaper. So why is that? Let's look at how the Agile tariff works. Just before we do, I'm a huge fan of Octopus Energy, and if you're getting a lot out of my videos and are interested in signing up, please use my referral code and you'll get £50 credited to your account. I'll also get £50, which helps me make more and more videos for you. A huge thank you to everyone who has supported me in this way. It really means a lot. There are three main elements to Agile Octopus. Firstly, prices are based on the wholesale price of energy. As we saw in the charts, the price you pay varies every 30 minutes depending on what the wholesale price is at the time. If wholesale prices are low for any part of the day, you immediately benefit from that. Whenever there is more demand for electricity than supply available, fossil fuel generators are generally called upon to close the gap and wholesale prices rise and may even spike as a result. Agile includes a protective measure which ensures you never pay more than 100 pence per kilowatt hour about three times higher than the average UK energy tariff. And thirdly, plunge pricing. Every now and again, more electricity is generated than is actually required. And when this happens, energy prices fall dramatically, even to the point where prices go negative. And when prices are negative, you're actually getting paid for using electricity. 
That might sound crazy, but it's critically important to keep supply and demand balanced. And so when supply exceeds demand, the national grid will want to incentivize energy companies to consume that excess. With all this in mind, we can now take a look at actual wholesale electricity pricing in the UK. This website, tradingeconomics.com, has data going back almost 10 years, and I've put a link to it in the description. Here's a view of UK daily wholesale spot prices since May 2013. You can see that prices averaged around £50 per megawatt hour, which equates to five pence per kilowatt hour all the way up to the beginning of March 2021, at which point they doubled within six months to about ten pence per kilowatt hour. Then things really got out of hand. For the next year or so, wholesale prices fluctuated between 15 pence and a whopping 55 pence per kilowatt hour. Since the beginning of this year, though, things have calmed down somewhat. It might be that the chaos of the previous year is behind us now, as prices have steadily fallen from 20 pence to 10 pence per kilowatt hour so far. Of course, wholesale costs are only part of the price we pay for our electricity. Let's have a look at the costs that make up our final electricity bill. You can see straight away that the wholesale cost represents about a third of the price we end up paying. What are these other costs then? We have supplier operating costs, the costs incurred by your energy provider as they run their business. Next up are the network costs, the building, maintenance and operation of the UK's energy infrastructure. Then there are costs relating to government obligations, environmental costs for green policies and social costs that help the most vulnerable in our society. Finally, there are other smaller costs relating to VAT, some additional direct costs and some profit for the energy supplier. With the Agile tariff, Octopus Energy has its own formula for working out the total price per kilowatt hour based on the wholesale price. Here is that formula. It's quite straightforward really, and I'll explain how it works. We start with W, which is the wholesale price of electricity in pence per kilowatt hour for a given 30 minute period. We then multiply W by 2.20, which is a fixed coefficient of all the other costs we've just seen in the pie chart. We then add a constant value P to the total, this is a peak time premium if you're using electricity between 4 p.m. and 7 p.m. in the evening. If you remember the quote from Octopus earlier where they said their plan for Agile was to make energy more expensive when it's dirty, you can see here they're not joking. The final part of the formula places a cap on the total price you will pay of one pound, no matter how high the wholesale price gets. It's a figure of 95 pence here as VAT is still to be added. So that's it really. If you'd like more information on the formula, including how the UK energy price gap and the UK energy price guarantee is handled, there's a link to it in the video description. Let's now take a look at how Agile rates have fared since the tariff was launched a few years ago. And there's a great website that allows us to do that called Energy Stats UK. Mick, who runs the site, uses a number of databases to capture and store a large amount of data from Octopus Energy over many years, then provides charting tools to present that data in meaningful ways. All the tariffs are covered, including Octopus Go, Intelligent, Cozy and Flux. Today we're interested in Agile, so I'll select that. You can then pull up various charts from the dashboard. Here's a chart I prepared earlier, showing import pricing for Agile since 2018. The line we're interested in here is the green one, which shows the average Agile import price per day. Right up until the end of 2020, the average price ranged from between around 7 and 15 pence per kilowatt hour. Then, throughout 2021, this price increased until it hit the octopus price cap in early October. From that point until the end of 2022, prices increased further, and you can see that octopus had to adjust their price cap a few times in line with that. More recently, from January 2023, things have started to calm down. You can see we're currently in a period where the average import price is steadily decreasing. And this explains the generous savings we saw earlier, which can be made with Agile at the moment. If we look back at the import pricing over the last five years, you can see a number of plunge pricing events, where the import prices went negative for a short time, meaning that you were getting paid for electricity you used during those times. Energy Stats UK keeps a record of all the price plunges if you'd like to take a look. Again, the link is in the description. And as you can see, there's been quite a few of them. Okay, we've now got a good handle on how the Agile import pricing works and how it can save you and also make you a lot of money. But it gets even better. With Agile, you can get a healthy payment for all the energy you export as well. And there are two export tariffs open to you. The first is fixed outgoing octopus, which currently pays 15 pence per kilowatt hour. 
This is the best rate in the UK outside of the Octopus Flux rates. And the second option, if you're feeling more adventurous, is Agile Outgoing Octopus, where Octopus will pay you in line with wholesale pricing at the time you export. Agile Octopus is quite an attractive tariff to be on, and to help with uncertainties over price fluctuations, there are quite a few mobile apps out there that will show you next day's pricing schedule and automatically alert you of any imminent price plunges. And if you're still unsure about moving to Agile, some of the apps can even analyse your current electricity usage and tell you if you're better off with Agile. And depending what battery you have, you may be able to program it so that it will charge automatically when import prices are low or negative. I think for me, because I don't have an EV yet, if the flux tariff didn't exist, I'd most likely be on Agile. It would certainly be an adventure. If you're thinking about moving to Agile, or if you're already on it, please let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'd like to hear them. And don't forget to like this video so that others can see it, and also subscribe to my channel to be first in line to see my future videos. Until then, thanks for watching.